Hey, how's it going everyone? So many of you might know the kind of surrounding controversy with Justice League and the rumored director's cut, the Snyder cut as it's being called on the internet, that people are really clamoring for and really wanting now after more and more is coming out about the film of things being cut from it, you know, the leaked deleted scenes that were very rough in terms of visual effects, but we could tell a noticeable Snyder influence on them. So this current petition that's going around called Release the Snyder cut as far as I know has actually got over a hundred thousand uh, signatures on I think maybe over a hundred and ten thousand but I mean really at the end of the day unfortunately petitions don't really do anything like this especially pertaining to like movies and things like that I mean we all remember the Ben Affleck petition that was floating around after he was cast as Batman people wanting him out of the role and same thing with other characters and decisions that have happened in the past now one of the interesting things about this though is how Zack Snyder has been very talkative now online on his social media platform Vero talking to fans about the film and what had happened with it and how he apologized for not being able to finish it on his own. Now the most recent development with this however is that Snyder himself liked a post trying to spread the petition around online from one of the big proponents of the DC Films universe on social media under the handle of Fiona. So very interesting stuff of course you know this doesn't really change much. It does signal that a lot of the higher ups and people involved with the film and Warner Brothers and everything, the director himself Zack Snyder, are very much aware of this petition. Now in terms of the actual petition coming true and there, us getting a Snyder cut or director's cut or some sort of extended ultimate edition for the home release, it seems kind of unlikely because a lot of stuff would have to fall into place for that to happen. It's not so much of a, hey, this is something that's out, let's just put it on the Blu-ray and there you go. This is something that likely would require a lot of editing and also more visual effects because it's presumed that Zack Snyder had a finished cut of the film earlier this year, probably around January or February, after he had gone back for reshoots at the end of last year. So even if he did have a finished cut of Justice League that reportedly was unwatchable from reports of Warner Brothers executives and inside sources, that cut probably isn't fully finished VFX wise and it would cost Warner Brothers more money to put effort into finishing it and also putting the original music by Junkie XL and Hong Zimmer back into the film. So whether or not a Snyder cut happens, I'm fairly certain that we'll at least be getting deleted scenes from the final theatrical cut of the film that didn't make the edit that we saw in theaters. So drop your thoughts down below, do you guys support a Snyder cut being released on the Blu-ray of the film or do you think that it doesn't really make much sense and it wouldn't really help the finished product overall because there's also the fact people are saying that had Zack Snyder released his version of the film in theaters it would have gotten much better reviews and been liked by more people but I'm not really sure I buy into that whole theory because if what we know of the film Zack Snyder was putting his Justice League in the same mold that Batman v Superman and other DC films got into so I think it quite possibly could have gotten an even worse response than the ones that we saw of the theatrical cut that Joss Whedon helped finish so like I said drop all your thoughts down below do you guys support or are against the Zack Snyder version of Justice League and what would you honestly like to see on a home release? Just simply deleted scenes or a whole other version of the movie directed by Snyder himself? And for more updates on Justice League and the future of the DC Cinematic Universe, be sure to subscribe to Hybrid Network. Thanks again for checking this video out. If you want to get even more updates from us, check out our social media platforms, our website for the latest news and editorials, and if you want to see our content get better, donate to our Patreon for exclusive rewards.